Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 24th. We are sitting at 8.17 a.m. Uh, got up about an hour and a half ago. You know, did the morning routine, wake up and uh, get all that morning goodness done. Um, got a video, you see there, uh, processing, uploading. That'll be up later today. That's the Saturday Sunday combo that I did. Uh, so today I'm gonna stick with my Monday routine. Uh, I'm gonna leave out from here in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go head to the Goodwill bins. I normally end down there. Um, normally about two, two and a half hours, something like that. And then uh, see what we can find there. And then I'll be heading back and I'll show you guys what all is sold so that way I can get all that packed up um, and make sure it gets out to the post office. So uh, it's been like a Monday routine for me lately, just hitting the bins up, getting home roughly around 1, 2 p.m. and uh, you know, busting out the orders, getting them shipped out. And then you know, this evening I'll work on getting some listings and stuff like that done. So, uh, Anyway, uh, my Dallas Stars, they won last night, tied the series up, so happy for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's a good Monday, hopefully uh, we find some fun stuff. I will uh, try to record in the bins again, like I did last time. Uh, if you guys are watching, you know, I know that video was pretty long. Uh, comment below, if you've made it in this far, comment below and uh, let me know. Do you prefer the full footage? Um, do you want... I can try to do voiceovers. I don't know. Like, I've never really messed with that. But I could try to record, like, voiceover. Um, or you just cool with the music background. The background music while I'm, like, picking through or whatever. Um, so comment below. Let me know, like, what preference you would have. What you would join the most. Also, if you're new here, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, I've noticed gotten a couple new subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. Give it a thumbs up and, uh, don't be shy. Comment below. I enjoy, uh, you know, hearing other people's comments and discussions and, uh, gives me something to read and hopefully, uh, interact with and comment back. So, uh, be sure to leave a comment, a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe. It's all free. So, um, anyway, that's enough chit chat for now. I got a few more things to get done and then I'm gonna be heading out the door and on the way to the bins. So hope you all have a wonderful Monday. Welcome back guys. It is now 9.50 in the morning. We just got into the parking lot at the bins. Uh, about to get out, get my bags, get in line, all that good stuff. So um, I'm gonna bring you guys along so you can see how it is in here today. Hopefully we find some good stuff. But uh, pretty good line formed already. We'll see how it goes. Um, hoping to find some pretty cool uh, vintage hats or something like that. Maybe some decent clothes. But we'll see how it goes. Depending on the vibe. Depending on what seems to be in here. Um, we'll see how long we, uh, we stay today. But uh, I do have a lot of stuff I got to get home and pack. So... Uh, We'll see how it goes. But anyway, catch you guys inside.
What's up guys it is now 11 26 uh i normally stay till 12 12 30 but it was pretty busy in there today the hats there wasn't a ton of vintage hats it was mostly modern hats and just a lot of people going after stuff there was a lot of people digging through the clothes the clothes bins take a lot of time i normally you know if i'm going to do clothes i guess i need to just come in and go straight to them or go straight to the hats but i normally do the hats because i know i can get you know at least get stuff and uh you just never know when there's going to be that hundred plus dollar hat you know in there and uh that opportunity alone that chance alone is what makes me come down here and check you know once twice whatever a week is just you know today i got two like uh ikea bit bags full of stuff i paid 34 dollars. the way i look at it is if i sell you know five hats at ten dollars a piece that's you know profit and then everything else is profit so uh it's always worth it um it's stacking inventory um hats are fun you know they're easy to list they're easy to ship 
and uh, they do sell they're not the fastest seller like not every hat is going to sell right away really quick but uh when you have quantity up you're going to sell something and so uh this little item right here um does have a bend in it so if i can get that straightened out this could actually be a sneaky good item i looked at the game itself up and the game is like 30 35 dollars and uh this is an instruction manual for the game and uh yeah it, for somebody that's a collector or something like that it might actually have some decent value so um that could be a, a pretty sneaky little item so Anyway, guys, I'm going to get on the road so I can get back home. Do have some items to pack and ship and everything. And uh, it's normally about an hour, an hour at least on the drive, more if there's traffic and stuff. So, uh, But I'll catch you guys in a little while. All right. Back home now. Checking back in. Uh, the My scheduling has worked so far today. We are at exactly 129, about to hit 130. I wanted to be back home by one. I actually pulled in the driveway at 102. Uh, grabbed me a bite to eat, unloaded the car, uh, picked a couple items I hadn't picked yet. And uh, so now I'm gonna share with you guys what sold. Um, we have 26 items for $1,039.41 to go out. Also waiting on two other items that have not been paid for yet. Um, so it would be like a total of 28 items for, I don't know, probably about, if I had to guess, probably add on another 45, 50 bucks onto it. So, uh, but anyway, 26 for 1,039.41, not bad at all. So uh, let's get to it here, flip this around. All right. So I'm just going to go in order on how I have them here to make it easier. So first up is a Ralph Lauren uh, American flag hat. Kind of cool. Got the stitching on the back. Um, but that sold for $17 plus ship. Uh, next up is this End of Days soundtrack. Um, sold for $3.99 plus shipping. Uh, next we have this down here a madam alexander doll um it's the vintage violet silk victorian number 30405 uh, this is the one i picked up at the estate sale on friday um, this sold for 40 dollars plus shipping the next item whoops go back over to sold next item is a Casey Mize All-Star Rookie Cup card that sold for $1.99 plus eBay Standard Envelope. These are a pair of brown uh, leather Sorel uh, boots. The lady sent an offer, said her dog chewed up one of hers. Uh, those sold for $35 plus ship. Uh, let's see, next is a Dennis Rodman uh, Fleer Metal Power Tools insert card. $5.99 plus eBay standard envelope. Uh, next is this Barbie Belk uh, Collector's 125 year anniversary. Uh, still new in the box. We got that from the state sale a few weeks ago. That sold for $54.99 plus ship. Uh, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, $10 plus ship. Um, a Collar Yamamoto SP Authentic Future Watch Auto SGC 95 70 plus ship. Uh, another green Nike golf t shirt or polo shirt. Uh, this isn't as bright as that other one I showed uh, a couple days ago. Um, it's kind of a more mellow green, but that did 13 plus ship. Uh, Redkin got some more Redkin here. This actually finishes us up, but. Did two bottles of the shampoo and a lot because I do free shipping on these and I didn't want to have to pay. They got some weight to them, obviously. So I did $69.99 free ship on those. So not bad. All total, probably about uh probably about 200 takeout fees and shipping. Probably about $150 worth um, off of the $3 buy for the shampoos and conditioner. Uh, Hank Williams, an old row t-shirt here that did $24.99 plus ship. Uh, the little Kodak Easy Share showed that we got this uh, Saturday. 
Uh, that sold for 30 plus ship. Not a bad buy there. Uh, Juice Man Jr. These juicers, if you part them out, you can usually do pretty well. This is a Juice Man Juicer replacement pusher. Did $7 plus ship. Uh, Alex Bregman 1987 design tops chrome rookie. Uh, that did $5 plus eBay standard envelope. Uh, next is a Topps First Edition 2022 Topps First Edition Gold. Um, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Gold foil not numbered. That did $10 plus eBay standard envelope. Uh, this Corningware dish back here, I'm not going to pick that up, but that did $20 free shipping. Uh, the person lives in Pennsylvania, so it's not going to cost that much for me to ship it. Next is a Nike, uh, very nice, I don't even think this has been worn, uh, Eastern Carolina University, that did $10 plus ship, the Vintage Collision UNC Starter Hat, uh, this was a bin find, it does have a stain on it that was noted um, in the listing, so that had originally sold for $125, the buyer never paid, I got tons and tons and tons of offers on this hat, I don't understand what was going on with them because they were all coming out of Miami, Florida. But they said that the, the locations was Columbia. I don't know what was up with it. Um, but anyway, it originally sold for $125. Buyer never paid. I canceled the order um, after the four days or whatever and uh, relisted it and wound up getting $115 from a gentleman out of Wisconsin. So not a bad bin hat buy there. Uh, let's see, next up, Jason Kidd, this is Stadium Club, uh, first day issue, Jason Kidd rookie, he's got that uh, Dow Dallas Mavericks satin bomber jacket there in the picture, that's pretty cool, $20 plus eBay, well $19.99 plus eBay standard envelope, next is this Panasonic, uh, this is a DVD up convert to 1080p re recorder, uh, 65 plus shipping, uh, this United States Marine Corps t-shirt uh, that did $12.50 plus ship. Uh, this was something, I can't believe this actually does as well as it does, but it's called The Kids in the Hall. This was from an online auction site that we bid on a few items. Um, it's the complete series. This did $30 free shipping on that. So not bad there. Um, an original OEM Xbox in the blue. Did $27.99 plus shipping. Um, a Albert Abreu Stadium Club Rookie Auto. That did $5 plus eBay standard envelope. And the Nike uh, Air Jordan Retro 6 Oreo Cleats. These I featured a few days back. Um, paid $16.99 from my local Goodwill. Found those hidden on a racket towards the back of the store. Those sold very quickly for an offer of $142. And then it says eBay shipping. I don't know what they have to pay for that because uh, they go to the authenticity thing. Um, so overall, uh, you know, not bad, 26 items here. Nothing should be too terribly hateful to pack. Um, so I'm gonna get busy on that. It is 1.37, so I got some time to get it all done and get it over to the post office. And then I need to, uh, by that time, it'll probably be about time to grab something to eat, maybe. Um, hopefully, I got time before that, but uh, I'd like to get some listings done and that, that sort of thing. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's the sales for Saturday, Sunday, and then anything as of right now. I'm waiting on a few things to be paid for. Um, from today but anyway that's what we got going out today monday so hope you guys have been having a great day i will check in later all right we are currently at 320 uh finally got everything boxed up packaged up um so now the fun part i gotta sit down get the labels printed and then uh run to the post office and get the stuff in the mail Overall, not too bad. Uh, I think it took me between an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Um, but that's not, I don't think that's too terrible for, uh, you know, 20, 26 items or whatever it was. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get these labels printed. I got 
about an hour and a half, so to speak, to uh, to get it. the labels done, packed up, out the door, and to the post office. So, catch you guys in a little bit. I gotta get busy. Checking back in with everybody. It is now 9.08. So, uh, got everything shipped off uh, to the post office. Um, I'll tell you guys, I don't know if anybody has dealt with it or not, but... Uh, I'm hoping that the cleats go through because they had to go through authenticity, the eBay authentic authenticity program. I've dealt with it in sports cards, but I've never dealt with it like in shoes or anything like that. And uh, eBay creates a label there and it's a free label. The weird thing was is my package dimensions and everything. It wouldn't let me change none of that. And then when it printed the barcode, it was like missing a bunch of the little bars for the barcode um all my other labels printed fine today so i know it wasn't my printer i have a thermal rollo and uh 26 packages that was the only one that did that so i asked the guy at the fedex office uh the only place i have here in town and he said that they could still send it through by entering the tracking number he took it i do have a receipt so i'm hoping that's the case uh i checked the tracking and nothing has been updated so i guess we'll have to see um i'll keep you guys updated on that but uh definitely didn't like that situation um but yeah i got 17 items listed uh did kind of a mix i did some train stuff that i haven't listed in for months that i should have had up listed some bags listed some hats um listed some cards so got a good mix of stuff up 17 items had dinner watched a little bit of tv uh so settling down for the evening you know it's 10 after 9 not too bad not too terribly late um i'm gonna cut this here and uh, i'll probably put it all together and try to get it uploaded for tomorrow and uh, hopefully we have some more sales have a couple sales throughout the evening uh, nothing major, I think right now, um, I'm sitting with uh, one, two, three, four, I have five, five different buyers, uh, seven items, and I am waiting for one payment still, so not too, too busy, but not terrible either, um, we'll see how it goes, and uh, you know, I'll let you guys know what, what we're looking at tomorrow uh, i haven't quite decided yet if i'm going anywhere to source i might just uh do a list heavy day um knock some hats out some clothes some other miscellaneous stuff i don't know we'll see how it goes or what i decide to get into but uh anyway that's all i got for you guys this evening um put this together hope you enjoy if you haven't yet subscribe hit that like button comment below and uh, again, appreciate all of you. Catch you in the next one.